Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. Just feeding the dog. We're going to look after him this time. He has uh, returned. The family decided we needed to get another dog, even though I got rid of the last one. So he's here and I've got to look after him. That's, that's the downside to it. They want it, I look after it. Story of my life. So, <laughs> today it is early March and um, we've got a busy time ahead. We have got our oats to sow into the ground. Um, we've got our two new fields. If for whatever reason you didn't catch last episode, I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, who doesn't want to see me getting stressed out? Um, but we brought fields 83 and 82 because we got our, in quotation marks, inheritance money. And uh, we've spent that on the, that bit of land there. Now, it is riddled with stones. So uh, we've got to get that ready for some sort of plant and either... Uh, early on or later on in the year. So what we're going to do today is uh, probably get a worker doing some sewing. Uh, we'll stick them in the John Deere here. So I'll uh, I'll get this ready. Now I have took the time to double check our controls. I've took the time to oh sort some graphics out. Hopefully the recordings will be nicer from now on out. Now, we're going to go the long way around this shed. Yeah, hopefully we're never going to talk about graphics anymore. We're not going to mention controls ever again. It's going to be smooth sailing, people. We can immerse ourselves in our farm, settle in, relax do what we set out to do and that was enjoy ourselves now not got much growth coming through on this one with our manure it's got its muck on it hasn't it that bit's showing muck perhaps that bit's got double muck anyway that's probably where I was just faffing about this is the one that we mucked so I shall do a nice little headland on here. We'll uh, get a worker on it and we'll go and find another little job because there's so much we need to get done. So I think I've given him a decent enough headland. We've got a double width along here and this side and I think we've got a triple just over on the end where there's a lot of trees and it gets really narrow. Uh, I did head back and stock him up with seed as well because I don't want to run it out, and we're doing the variable seed, and I did notice that some of those areas I was using a uh, high seed rate. So what we've got to do is... Oh, I should have jumped the fence. <laughs> we're going to go all the way around to our new uh, bit of land, which is just between these two here. Now, for ease I might take out these two trees at some point just so we can get some equipment in there like harvesters and stuff and put some headers around there but we're gonna come over this we've got our front roller that does a bit of cultivating so I think we're gonna try and roll over this one get them sit um, stones in the ground and we also have another one just around the way here I do I love the weaving in the back uh, tracks on this map and we've got this one here so again, full of weeds, and I'm sure these are all just little stones in here. So uh, let's go and jump in the Massey and uh, get that attached. Thought we'd just check in on the cows while we were here. They are looking beautiful. Uh, we've got 62 cows now, I think. Yeah, 62 cows. They're healthy. They've got plenty of food. We've got, oh, we've got so much milk again. We could do a couple of milk runs. Get that sold. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, what are we looking at? Slurry-wise. Slurry's building up again nicely. And uh, manure's starting again. <laughs> Still got our silage on the floor there. Right. There's our Massey. Let's just jump in. Shall uh, get rid of the front fork. We don't need that. Oh, start the engine up, mate. We've already got the weight on the back. then the tool that we're after, as always, is around the other side. It's a nice little track that leads off there as well. There's 
so many tracks that lead off to uh, other fields. I do like that. The, the weaving and the winding. Uh, I think I mentioned on the map tour that you can literally get to anywhere on the map from this farm. You don't have to go out that main road every time. So we want to get this. Now we're going to... Not this isn't the only reason we're going to use it, but we're going to use our Goodler of Aunt 45 because recently we sold our um, Ubele Ron Goodler, uh, our Avant. We've got a bigger roller on there. But I don't want people to think that we sold it because it's not good. It just doesn't work for how we're doing things on Ube. But it's going to be perfect for doing this here. Now we could put this on the front and then seed on the back at the same time. That is a perfectly viable option. But we don't want to put oats in right now. Uh, I want to put something else in here. So we can do this while the, that's being seeded. And uh, it gives us things to do. And also, when I have <laughs> the two attached, I often have difficulties with turning or I'll, I'll roll through and I cultivate up where I've already seeded. And I think that is the thing. I think I have, uh, in the past, destroyed my crops. So uh, that's why we're doing it like this. Plus it gives us a chance to work our new bit of land. You can see the, m the massive bit of land. It is a big bit of land we've brought here. Super impressed with this. Now, again, we are using the um, uh, variable field rates. So sometimes the fields are lower in price. Sometimes they are much more. Uh, this field, I think, was uh, was at 4.7% cheaper than its base rate. And our other field over there, I think, was like... 20, 40 percent. It was something crazy. It was like nearly half price, or a quarter off. Yeah, it was like twenty-four percent off, which is a brilliant, absolute bargain. Now there were also uh, some fields that we saw, and uh, they were a lot more expensive. Now I'm going to run alongside it, and we're going to have a look to make sure that the stones went in. Oh, didn't respect the bush. That's bad. So. Didn't get all the weeds, for whatever reason. But it looks like the stones on that side have definitely gone. Now that might be from where we're bouncing and losing contact. That might be where why some of the weeds haven't gone. Or, perhaps this doesn't kill the weeds and we're only killing weeds where we drive. It might only be the wheels that are killing the weeds. But when we sow this... Those weeds um, should pretty much disappear anyway. But at the minute, we're just trying to get rid of the stones. And uh, that is working. So I'll crack on with this for a bit. And uh, yeah, having fun. Enjoying it today. We're enjoying it. So our worker thought they were finished, so I'm just going to show them where the rest of the field is. They seem to be confused. They've done a good job on that first bit. Just get them started up. Yeah, mate, off you go. Oh, so mutton chops. He's good, he knows what he's doing. He'll have that sorted in absolutely no time. So 
so we're having a little changeover now. The worker is going to finish um, rolling that field and creating a bit of a seed bed for us. I'm going to jump in the John Deere and uh, finish off the sowing. Uh, they weren't doing anything wrong and uh, there was nothing wrong with the rolling for me. But as I was doing it, I was thinking of the other jobs we really need to be getting done today. And uh, I'm going to want the John Deere for it. So I figure we'll finish off this. We'll get to see a little bit of the seed and today as well. Then I'll be ready to uh, get stuck into the next job. Now, I don't think I've said it yet today, so I hope you're all well. Hope everyone's keeping safe, having fun, enjoying whatever it is you've been doing. Hopefully a little bit of farming, a little bit of trucking. Hopefully you've been enjoying the content on the channel here and uh, been checking out the, the channels that I recommend, I'd say. Um, I've been trying to remember to leave links to the channels that I enjoy watching, the channels that I would say I rotation support. Um, they're not the only channels I watch, obviously, but they are... They are small channels like myself, and uh, they support me, and I try to support them back in my own way. Now, things have been going really smooth today. It's been great. I think I finally managed to fix many of my issues, which is absolutely wonderful. I can get back to enjoying some stuff. It's been a few days since I've been on the farm, so... I thought it was uh, good to take a little break from it. <laughs> it was, like I said, it was annoying the hell out of me. And uh, I spent a, a lot of hours fiddling with lots of different things, even within my own PC rather than the game, since, like I said, I've said before, the optimization doesn't seem to be great. Like, you can't get much higher spec than what I run. And for the issues to keep coming up, I don't know. But we're all good now. Makes me happy, makes me smile. The sun is shining out the window today as well, so that's good. It's almost <laughs> almost as good as being outside in a field, but we're inside in our field. Now, as for the other jobs that we're going to do today, um, I'm thinking we need to, we don't need to, I'd like to uh, sell a couple of uh, tankers of milk, help to bolster our income because we're going to do some leasing next as well. This field is going to want rolling. Now, like I said, we don't use our uh, Avant 45, because I think that'll dig it up. And we don't want that. We've just sown it. So we need to go and get ourselves a different sort of roller, because I, our roller doesn't roll um, fields, I don't think. I think it's just like a grass meadow roller. It won't roll the arable. So we're going to have to go and uh, lease one of those. Because I always say <laughs> about rolling. And I'm always too late on it. We tend to finish our sowing really late in the evening. Especially on Ube. So here we're going to be finished seeding uh, midday. And uh, we can roll it this afternoon. And we'll use the money that we get from our milk. To, uh, to pay for the leasing of that. And then later in the year, we'll uh, lease another one to roll whatever it is we plant in our two new fields. Now, over on there, I did go around, as you'd have seen, um, with my turning. It was a bit tight, so I've gone around and given the uh, the worker a bit of a headland to help them out. Hopefully, they won't get stuck in the trees. There are a few trees on there. So, uh, I'll just have to keep an eye out. See if they uh, message me and let me know that they got stuck. But we've gone through quite a bit of seed. I don't think we went through this much seed last time. I think with the variable, if we bring up the map, I always forget to bring it up. We should be able to see our... No, maybe not. It doesn't want to share with us today. But we've got the variable thing going, so it should do. Perhaps I need my sensor on. What was that? Alt-B, sensor on. Let's just check. Yep, crop sensor's on. Right. Put the map on. It's all these little things in it. Put it down. We'll have a look in the main map afterwards, but this should be telling us... Um, 
our sedum rates. But we've got it up the top there. Uh, this is a low rate. Um, when I was doing the headland, over there in that corner, that was uh, that was red. That was a high seed rate over there. So we've got patches where it is, patches where it isn't. Maybe we haven't got the uh, the overhead because the uh, the worker has been doing it. Let's turn that off. Now these aren't missed patches that the worker missed. These are <laughs> areas where I didn't get it right. That's me, that is. And because we've not got a direct drill, we can't drill into areas where I've not cultivated or ploughed. So uh, yeah, we've got that for now. One of them things. So I'm just going to get off the field. And if we go to precision farming, soil types, pH, nitrogen levels. So four are, uh, are oats. That's, that's what the readings are. Yields. There we go. There's the red bit, the high, high seed rate in that corner. Here is medium, but the rest of it is really low. So that, that must have really, really abused <laughs> the seed, or maybe this bit did. But anyway, it's good to know that it worked. It's doing something. Now I'm just going to constantly drive around with my uh, <laughs> with my uh, crop sensor on the front. It's just always going to be on whenever we're in the John Day. I just have to remember to turn it on. I will go around this way. Weave it free. Loving it. Still really enjoying the uh, the tightness of this. Now it's going to be fun when we start um, harvesting down there on them two new fields because that is really narrow. Looking forward to that. It's not that sort of thing that stresses me out. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> the challenge doesn't stress me out or annoy me. It's when things don't work that annoys me. Alright, there we are. So let's go and find our milk. Now hopefully the game's not too loud today. I've uh, let's turn my headset down. So well, hopefully it's not drown me out. I did try and check it beforehand, so I'm trying to get back to quality content. So, uh, because we're clever, we keep our milk tanker round by the slurry rather than by the uh, the milking parlour. Our glorious cows. Perhaps I'll have a machinery manoeuvre around a bit and uh, start putting this tanker. I could even shut it probably in the milking parlour where that bit is, so uh, there's always an option. It fits because we've driven in there with it before. Because I had um, trouble uh, opening it up. I think I sorted out. There it is. See there? Getting there. I'm getting there. We open it up. <laughs> right, I will back up onto it though. Rather than just sort of driving into my fence and trying to get as close as possible. This is uh, much more of a sensible way of doing it. Like I say you can open the doors up and do it that way. It does look good. If you're uh, going for the realism and you want to do that. So although this is an 8,000 capacity, we can only fill to 7,712. We better shut the lid up. We don't want nothing getting in there. And uh, we'll get this off to the dairy. Make some money. I haven't checked what the rate is. Um, but since it's the only place to sell it, I think, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's where it's going. I suppose there's a production site somewhere that'll take it. Maybe take milk. Does anyone else take milk? Or do you have to sell it to the dairy to uh, set the number one spot? I don't know.
a nice smooth <laughs> error free journey sometimes I smack into cars and cars smack into me like crazy now, I'm not sure if I mentioned here or if I mentioned on Ubailer on and again not everyone watches all the episodes of every series but we are running a mod that puts an unlimited capacity on production sites when selling when unowned. If we purchase one, then uh, they uh, oh, they then um, obviously have a fill capacity. But whilst they are owned by someone else, they don't. Let's see if we can find the trigger. I always struggle to find the trigger here. There we go. This looks like a nice moment for a picture. Look at that, beautiful. Bring that back up. Since we're sitting here, why not? Right, let's uh, let's head back. Get ourselves some more. What did we get? Sixteen grand. Oh, plus the two hundred environmental. That put us up to seventeen grand for milk. Nice. For those that haven't really uh, dabbled with precision farming yet, or aren't fully to grips with uh, precision farming, um, and you're wondering what the environmental score is all about, um, well, the more the more environmentally friendly things you do, obviously, you get rewarded with your points. Now, if we go into our map on precision farming, uh, my environmental score is only currently 55. Isn't great, but we're getting there. The more things we do. Um, sort of recycling wise and management of fuel, management of our land, um, using our manures uh, or our slurries and our manure for fertilization, um, not getting rid of our waste through um, burning. So the biomass isn't great. Luckily, when we sold all that wood, um, we weren't running it because we sold quite a bit. Um, but doing things like uh, sell and feed. Uh, to the animal dealer and that, that'll that increase your environmental score and with the environmental score as it goes up get an increased percentage when you sell things so at the minute our milk is selling for it doesn't sound a lot but one percent more than it would um, I don't know what we're doing that's unenvironmentally friendly at the minute because this was higher um, last time around and this was at two or three percent so yeah this is what we've got to do so managing your nitrogen levels managing your pH trolling our weeds um, how we're doing our tillage and soil sampling is what's going to uh, influence the environmental score as well. And there are probably many other contributing factors as well that I haven't quite grasped myself. Um, still, uh, still learning a lot of the uh, nuances. Let's make sure we uh, shut that. There we go. Lovely job. So we'll get this lot sold, and then I'll be off to the store. So if we can sell this for another, what, 17, or is this, yeah, nearly 17 grand, we'll have made 33, 33 and a half thousand on milk today. That's, that's not a bad day for us. Any day with profit is a good day. <laughs> the farm isn't cheap to run as well. I think every night we are paying out uh, well over a grand. Machineries and buildings, we own quite a bit. So uh, we do need to make sure we are ticking over in the money. Because our inheritance, uh, that's gone. <laughs> that's gone on the land we brought, so... It's not coming back. I say, that's, that's not something we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, collectible-wise. Just the ones that we knew of that were there and here. Open it up. <laughs> Flexing my reversing skills. There we go. Sell that. Watch that bank roll. Everything just takes so long, doesn't it, to uh, unload? These are the bits where you got the dead air, dead space. Right. 
Um, so yeah, another 16,000, and we've got another 241 added to our environmental score. So let's see if that has impacted anything at all. Nope, not there it hasn't. So uh, I'm not sure where that score, where, where you can read your score. Would it be maybe under um, statistics? Do we have a, a total of environmental score anywhere? Collectibles, years, time, missions, trees cut. 30, 30 trees I've cut, apparently, but we've only done them same six. <laughs> Unless that's counting them stumps from the bushes. That must be counting them hedge bushes. But no, nothing, nothing here to tell us what our environmental score is. Would be nice to have a number to flex, wouldn't it? Just your 55s. Okay, right, to the store, Batman. And a quick check on our worker, and they are getting through this. Now, because they don't have uh, <laughs> crop destruction, as they drive through, they're not killing the weeds off, which is <laughs> absolutely fine. But you can see where I put my headland in there for them and how, how far we worked through the field. But they are absolutely smashing it. They started um, from that bottom corner, because with the work you need to start at your narrow end. And uh, they've just got to get up to where I've thinned it out. So they'll probably be done by the time I've finished rolling my field. Now we're not going to worry about taking this tanker home. Um, because it's just more more driving around really. Um, we've, we've got a good relationship with the dealers here. Hey, you always got to have a dealer on your side. <laughs> and anyway. Um, <laughs> shut up. We... Uh, we can leave this here. They don't mind. Uh, we're going to have to come back to bring the uh, roller once we're finished with it. And we'll pick up our tank then and uh, take that home with us. So let's just jump out and have a little garner at what we've got. So we're going to use the Associate Nouvelle Razol Toro RVH. That sounds a bit French. Perhaps we should get this on eBay. I think that looks like a lovely, a lovely model. Looks good. Um, what are we looking at price wise to buy it? 14 grand. Um, Belisen 700. Should we buy it? Should we buy a new bit of kit today? I think I'm going to buy it now. In purchasing it, that does mean we've not got to come back and bring it back to return for like leasing, but we can come and pick up the uh trailer. Our milk trailer at any time but yeah here it is in person in the flesh in the steel lovely job in the steel what am i on about got a friend called steel at first uh, we all thought that was a fake name it must be steel whose real name is neil no steel is his real name like a superhero. Go on, dog, get out of the way. Oh, you'll end up mincemeat again, mate. Come on. The old toot toot. Toot toot, lad. Have we got lights on there as well? Yeah, so every time I toot, put a light on. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's a nutter. Right. Let's go and roll these in. Now, with this roller as well, this should roll the stones back in on our other fields. Speaking of which, I was I spent a long time in the store. He's probably finished. Uh, I don't think I've had a notification pop up to say that he has. But he can't be far short. But this should make light work must remember to do my rolling. This is like my worst thing. Not like, oh my god, not rolling, but it's my worst thing that I remember to do. Let's have a little look at this. Nice. Now I do apologise if today is a really long video. Um, it's, it's only now two o'clock, but I feel like we've been going for ages. So we'll see. Now, the only thing is with Roland, I find, is it's difficult to tell the textures apart. We'll uh, give it a round around. 
and then we might be able to tell a little bit better. But Roland's a pretty chill job. Drob? Bloody wars, man. I'm gonna get one of them compilation videos out again soon, I think. It's a pretty chilled drop. Drop, I did it again. <laughs> oh dear. Just stop, just give up speaking, Mr. Farquhar. Rolling is a pretty chilled job. I got stuck in a tree now. Oh dear. We're having fun, people. Don't ever say it's not entertaining here. <laughs> We might not have the greatest quality, but we have a great time. So they have finished. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish my headland, and we'll sort them out. We'll move them over to uh, the other field. They can get started on that. Get them stones in. Um, then we'll see how long it takes me to do this. I could then head over and uh, help them out as well. So she's off doing that. Um, I've asked her to work sort of width way on the field rather than the length ways because I'm going to show you as I run up as we go up the field we've got a lot of changes direction of direction on this side and on the other side of the field and I just think the worker will struggle with that so I'm um, trying to be mindful of the workers trying to help them out um, I have put in a two strip headland on this side and a two strip headland on that side so hopefully she won't clatter into the trees but hey you know what these women drivers are like I think this has gone pretty well. Uh, we're getting through it. It's nearly four o'clock though. The day from I'm feeling really long to send out. Ooh, the sun's going to start going down soon. I need to get this done. So uh, yeah, it's been good. I think it's been a good day. Been pretty productive on the farm. We've uh, got this one sown. It will have been roan. Roan. Shut up. We've <laughs> got this one sown. It will have been rolled by the time I've finished. Hopefully. <laughs> And uh, we've got the stones rolled in on our two new fields, so that'll uh, reduce any uh, risk of damage when we get round to uh, planting and working that one. So once I've finished here, I am going to go over and I'm going to try and uh, help her out, get that done. And uh, yeah, I'm under strict orders today to jump in the chat for my partner's <laughs> live premiere of her new video on her channel. Uh, if you're interested, check out Plumbob95. There's a link on my home page and there'll be a link down in the description. Uh, she does uh, content for The Sims, mainly Sims 3 at the minute, uh, but she's just finished completely reworking, rebuilding, revamping, redesigning and uh, renovating, upgrading a whole world. She's been doing that for about eight months now. So today is the premiere that she is showcasing that. Today being the day of me recording this, not the day of this release. But yeah, go check her out, show us some love, tell her I sent you, drop her a comment. It means the world to both of us. So with that, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. I know I've enjoyed it a lot more than the last few. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. And as always, comments and feedback down there. How are you doing? How are you finding it? We've had a lot of maps now come out. Precision Farm and Ready. Um, Riverview has uh, since dropped. I believe that came out yesterday, the day of 
at the day of this recording. So, uh, yeah, how are you finding Cavalier's other map? I think it's a great one. Uh, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.